way. I'm sorry. Were you looking for this? <laughs> Strongbow's a diversion. Get Ryder. What? Ah, after them, go, go, go. <laughs> we lost yeah. them. Oh, come on, seriously, guys. Man, we were so close this time. Well, if by close you mean not even a little, then yes, I completely agree. Fellas, if you can't catch us when we're going easy on you, how do you expect to catch this master thief that's terrorizing the town? Captain calls him the silent striker. Yeah, I'm not calling him that. Well, Captain, I believe this exercise in humility has proven that my esteemed colleague Lance here is more than qualified to assist me in training your men in the fine art of thief catching. So, what do you say? Does he get the job? No. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this whole public servant business anyway. The entire kingdom is in a panic over this silent striker, so Pascal and I figured we had to do our part to help catch him. Uh, Raps, maybe you should leave the bad guy snatching to the pros. Wait, Cass, no! It's so awful. Obvious was kind of the point. Here, uh, let me help you down. No, no, I'll do it myself, thank you. But I have a safer way to get you... Uh, oh, my leg! Down. Oh, it's almost laughably simple. We catch this striker, prove that you're trustworthy, and bamo! The captain hires you on the spot. Then let's find us a striker. Well, he's not here. Ooh, let's get kebabs. Oh, forget the kebabs. We've got detective work to do. But the kebabs... As I always do each morning, I place my best shoes at the display window. He took all my money! From the till, from the safe, even my secret shoe stash. Hamana. It happened during the after-school rush. That's my busiest time. He cleaned me out. Mm. Mm. Ah, you know you gotta pay for those sucks. I was walking over to get a customer hat change. I turned my back for one second and suddenly the whole chest was empty. Uh-huh. I believe we have enough to go on here. Well, that was a waste of time. Hey, look at that. Hmm. Hold on a second. We hit a dead end. Hey! What do we really know about this guy, huh? He hits his marks during peak hours, his preferred method of extraction is using sleight of hand, and he's after cash only. Oh! And he's also working through town using a distinct inward spiral pattern which points us to the exact area he will strike next! I'd say we have enough to set a trap for our silent striker. Come on, everybody. Fast, fun money, ladies and gents. Just find the coin and win the purse. Ah, wrong tail. Who's next? Next up. Ah, wrong tail. Dragon. Out. Ow! Gotcha! <laughs> Not so silent or strikey anymore, are you? Now, let's get a look at this so-called master thief. Wow. I did not see that coming. Your Majesty, Captain, may I present the Silent Strikers? Their children. Wow, Captain. Figure that out by yourself? Or did your ace detectives tip you off? What are your names, children? She doesn't talk much, but they call us the Bidness Sisters. I'm Nanya. Well, Nanya Bidness. <laughs> Very funny. No one is laughing. <laughs> that was, I, I did. That was, that, was that, was that was definitely a little funny. We can't send two children to jail, but we can't just let these two criminals go either. Yeah, they'll just run off and start stealing again. Speaking from personal experience, anyway. Yes, you and Eugene do have past experience, don't you? Perhaps the two of you could take these two under your wing for a few days. See if you can't help them straighten up. 
and get them to return what they took. Oh, uh, we're flattered. But see, Lance and I really aren't about kids. <laughs> or wings. I'm a drumstick man. This might be exactly the thing that could earn my trust. But of course, what kind of guys would turn their backs on children in need? Very good. I'll leave them in your hands. So we mentor some cute kids for a day or so. How hard could it be? You will be on your feet before you know it, Cass. But until then, Nurses Pascal and Rapunzel are at your service. So, what would you like us to do first? <laughs> uh, I really appreciate it, Raps. Really. But I don't do the whole getting nurtured thing, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it. You want to handle things in a typical Cass fashion. Solo. Remember, though, if you need anything... I just need some peace and quiet. Right. And maybe an extra pillow? Soup? Lullaby. Should I rotate your mattress? Brush your hair? Bedtime story? Facial? Game of checkers? <sighs> Are you sure you're- I'm fine! <laughs> Let me go! <sighs> okay! First rule of not being a thief, don't steal. Pretty obvious. Second rule, making people chase you five miles makes them cranky. Aw, uh, aren't you a fancy little thief? I'm calling mine red, cause she's got- Red hair. Yeah, I get it. You can't just- Ow! Oh, okay, I'm calling mine angry. We don't do nicknames. Listen, angry, you don't want to be here, and we don't want to be here. So fancy. Ugh. So just return what you stole, and we can all get on with our lives. Besides, you don't want to be thieves. Trust us, it's not a viable long-term career. Maybe you two were just bad at it. <gasps> bad at it? Bad at it? We were the original strikers, mm -hmm. okay? We invented techniques that are used by criminals all around the world around to this world. day. You ever yeah. heard of the drop and stop? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Never. Kids today. We used to use it all the time to rob caravans back in the day. See, one of us would find a way to distract the lead carriage, while the other would go around back and steal... La, la, la. You know what? Never mind. My point is, the life of a criminal is hard. You're always on the run. Not to mention the enemies you make. Whew! We once tried to double-cross this guy called the Baron. He hasn't stopped hunting us since. Of course it didn't help matters that Eugene stole his prize stallion. And the worst part is the guilt you have to live with. You see this? First thing I ever stole. It's a shameful reminder of my criminal past. Why'd you steal something so worthless? What? You... It's not worthless. It has sentimental... It's worthless. Thieving tip number one. Take the most valuable thing in the room. Lance. Lance. We've got to make them better people, not better thieves. Thieves are people too. <sighs> you know, I'm impressed. Annoyed, yes, but I'm impressed. You know, we could scare them straight. Of course, we have to take them to some tough-looking types. You and I were too pretty to be scary. <laughs> well, you're half right, anyway. Who do we know that's both scary and ugly? Well, well, well. So you think you can handle a life of crime, huh? <laughs> I need that to walk! You know... That kind of reminded me of us when we were that age. Yeah, me too. Man, Hookfoot is really crying, isn't he? <sighs> Keep it down! What just happened? She's talking to you, Stan. Me, you're the one who wanted to march. I just wanted to stand right here. Stan, don't spread. Guys, I'm trying to nap in here! Sorry. I asked Pete and Stan to stand outside and make sure you got peace and quiet, but I forgot they tend to bicker. <sighs> Rapunzel, I told you, I don't need... I just wanted to let you know that they have been relieved of duty. Thank you. And replaced with Maximus. <laughs> Service! Yeah, place has gotten real slow since Attila left to open up shop with Monty. That 
That's it. Come on, Red. We're making lunch. <laughs> <sighs> what's wrong with you? Oh, what's wrong? I don't know. I'm trying to prevent two smart little kids with a world of potential from throwing their lives away, and I can't even figure out how to get them to listen. Yeah, got yourself a head scratcher there. Let me ask you something. When you are our age, would you have listened? No. In fact, I'd probably still be out there cheating and stealing if it weren't for... Wait a minute, that's it! You two are the striker? Long hair and brains? Good for you. <laughs> well, being Master Thieves, I bet you're really good at hide-and-seek. <laughs> that's kid stuff. Ah, too bad. I was hoping you'd play with Pascal and me, but it's probably better if you don't. He's kind of a pro. Can he turn into any color? What do you know? Mine does talk. Sometimes it's like he's not even there. Pascal? Pascal? You could come out now. Pascal? Are you still there? <laughs> nice cozy bed. Not too shabby, huh? Just think, if you let me help, you can get one of your very own. Why are you doing all this? Usually adults just try to get rid of us. They don't take us to meet princesses. Well, honestly, at first, I was only trying to get Lance a job. But now, I just really want to help you start over. <sighs> well... Starting over is not that easy. Stealing is. Look, I know what it's like to be angry at the world. You're right, stealing is easy. But Rapunzel showed me that it's when you stop taking things for yourself that you really get the most in return. It's not like we want to steal. We just need enough to get away. Get away from who? Angry? Day and I was worried you'd wake up in the middle of the night hungry and <sighs> Rapunzel for the last time if I need help I'll ask for it <sighs> you know Cass I don't know why you're making this so hard I'm just doing what any good friend would do thanks Rapunzel but I think I got it Not only did you lose track of two helpless children, you managed to let them steal the princess's tiara. Okay, I wouldn't call them helpless. E enough. Your services are no longer required here. You're both fired! <laughs> Joke's on that guy. He never hired me. I'm so sorry about your tiara, Rapunzel. I thought for sure I could fix those girls, you know, like how you fixed me. Eugene, I didn't fix you. You can't make someone better. 
The best you can do is give them a chance. If they don't want your help, then... All you can do is be there for them until they do. The thing is, I'm sure they did want help, but they're running from something, and I have a feeling it's bad. I just knew where to look for them. You could start with that flower. It only grows by the river cliffs. You're right! I'm going to get Lance. Thank you, Cassandra. In fact, to show my appreciation, I'm not even going to make fun of that. <sighs> Cass, I'm sorry I got so pushy earlier. And I'm sorry I yelled. <laughs> I just couldn't bear to see you struggle when I could make things so much easier for you, but I shouldn't have assumed. From now on, I will only help if you ask me. I can work with that. Don't look at me like that. We had to do it. The Baron's men are here. You heard Eugene. He'll never stop coming after us. For two thieves who thought they were clever enough to steal from the Baron, you sure made it easy to find you. Weasel. I'd recognize that smell anywhere. <laughs> the girls have been running from the Baron. They're in more trouble than I thought. So what do we do? We're unarmed and outnumbered. We can try the heave ho, a bob and weave, a shoehorn Sam, a lucky 18. No, no tricks. The girls could get hurt. What? So we just ask Weasel to let the girls go real nicely? Last time I checked, we were on his boss's most wanted list, too. Well, let's hope that's still the case. Uh... Anthony the Weasel! Huh? Long time no see. Are people still calling you the Weasel? I mean, I guess if you can't change the face, why change the name, right? Ha ha ha. Ryder and Strongbow, to what do I owe this most dubious pleasure? I'm here to offer you the deal of a lifetime, my frenemy. The infamous thieves who double-crossed the Baron on numerous occasions in exchange for the kids. Well, that's an awfully noble and heroic gesture, coming from such a notorious scoundrel as yourself, Flynn Rider. Well, what can I say? People change. You've got a deal. What are you doing? Don't worry about us, kiddo. We've got a plan. I just need you two to run, okay? happy about this, but we finally have enough money to get away from here. Start fresh. Everyone's always turning their backs on us. Everyone. Everyone but them. So, uh, Eugene, you want to let me in on the actual plan part of this plan? Yeah, uh, I'm still working on that. Let's get back to the Baron. <laughs> your head. Now come on. I think these belong to you. Wait a minute. Where's the other one? Look, I know I can't force you to accept my help. Heck, I don't even technically work for the guards right now, so I can't even make you return what you took but I can still give you the chance to change. What if we don't want it? Then all I can do is be here for you until you do. Here, I want you to have this. <laughs> As a shameful reminder of my life of crime? As a reminder of the first day you didn't have to steal something because someone was happy to give it to you. Oh, so much for getting you the job. Yeah, I didn't really want to work for the captain anyway. Too much yelling. 
You let them what? I take full responsibility for everything I stole. And I really want Sir, to- Sir, you should come and see this. Well, Captain, if everything's been returned, there's nothing Eugene needs to take responsibility for. And seems to me the guards still need the help of a former thief. <laughs> or two. <sighs> I suppose this means you've been reinstated, Fiss Herbert. As for Strongbow, I'm willing to try having a second consultant, if he's amenable. Lance? Up to you, buddy. I appreciate the offer, but no thanks, Captain. I actually found a job on my own. You are looking at the new chef of the Snuggly Duckling. Today's my first day. Then why aren't you there? I'm taking a personal day. <sighs> you sure you're okay letting them go? I'll be back when they're ready. <laughs>